Hi, this is Shubhan Chakravarti for Rev Sports, and we are reviewing the match between England and New Zealand. And what a match we have just had! Uh, England defeated New Zealand by 20 runs, and now this group anyone can qualify. Anyone can qualify from this group. Uh, so England batting first posted 179 for six. When the middle order batters were playing, the openers were failing. Now the in this match, the openers Josh Butler and Alex Hill stood up uh, to the occasion. Josh Butler, the captain, smashed 73 of 47, uh, seven boundaries, two sixes. Uh, Alex Hill, 52 of 40, uh, seven boundaries, one six, and and they just uh, they just gave a blistering start to England, and and after that there was no looking uh, behind for the English uh, Englishmen. Uh, Moin Ali failed with the bat, five of six. Uh, Livingstone played a decent cameo 20 or 14 but you expect more from him uh, otherwise harry broke uh, ben stokes was demoted to number seven uh, but uh, just couldn't get going uh, scored eight runs of seven deliveries but hats off to the new zealand uh, spin duo of mitchell santner and it's story i mean when at a track when all the english batters especially the openers were going all out uh, they just held their end uh, mitchell santner ended with uh, four overs 25 runs two and uh, one wicket whereas it's so the bold uh, four overs gave away just 23 runs and picked up one wicket. Lockie Ferguson was expensive, uh, considered 45 runs but picked up two wicket and and then the stage was set for the English team to defend the tar- tar- target. Of course, the New Zealand team, uh, they have some uh, great batters uh, uh, but, but today, the likes of Finn Allen, Devon Conway, the two uh, mainstay openers of the New Zealand team, they just couldn't get going. Uh, Kane Williamson, who was struggling for runs, uh, played an anchor role, uh, scored 40 of 40. Uh, Glenn Phillips again uh, the first, uh, the, the he scored a century a couple of days back, but today smashed uh, 62 of 36. He would have wanted uh, to take uh, New Zealand over the winning line, but that was not the case today. Mitchell Santner came down the order, played uh, 16 unbeaten of uh, 10 deliveries, but again it was too little, too late for the New Zealand team uh, to to uh, seal the seal the victory against England. Coming to the English bowling unit, they bowled really well. Uh, Chris Vokes four over 33 runs, two wickets. Uh, Adil Rashid also. 33 runs in four overs didn't pick up any wicket but was really really good sam curran was the pick of the bowler in this team four overs 26 runs uh, two wicket whereas uh, mark wood conceded 25 runs in his uh, three over uh, spell and uh, while ended up with one wicket so that was the mainstay summary of of this england uh, versus new zealand clash but this group has has been has been spiced up with this english win uh, but do let me know whether you think uh, new zealand uh, could have done anything uh, anything other than the the normal uh, tactical display they, they they showed today or they could have done something else to get this uh, win uh, against england but england were phenomenal today and, and ended up with a very very important win in this t20 world cup super 12 stage that was it uh, for this review but don't forget to subscribe to uh, ref sports because we are bringing lots of content to for you right from Australia when it comes to the T20 World Cup. Thank you for watching.